The objective of this exercise is to demonstrate the creation and opening of an L01 logical forensic image file. The first objective is to locate the pieces of evidence to be included within the logical evidence file. In the file system module, navigate to the folders tree view and select the email option in the filter drop down menu. This filter will identify all email files available throughout the case in the file list view. There are also specific filters to identify unique groups of files that are of interest to the case. Selecting the PST or OST filter shows only those files fit in the PST OST file extension criteria. Selecting the red cross next to the drop down option will remove any active filters. Using the text filter tool option at the top of each column is another useful technique to identify files of interest. Highlight all files that have now been identified within the file list view. Pressing the spacebar once will now place a check in all highlighted items. Navigate to the folder tree view drop down filter menu. Select the checked filter option. Remove any active filters remaining in the file list view. Only items that have previously been checked will now be visible and available for inclusion in the L01 forensic image file. To create the L01, right click in the file list view and select the export logical evidence file L01 option. The export file options window will now appear. In the name field area, enter the title of the processing as required. This will be used to identify any audit logs created by Forensic Explorer a little easier in the future. In the source area, notice the highlighted and checked items options. In this example, we will use the checked items. Notice the box next to additional options. Selecting this will include index folder records and empty folders with no data. The destination area of the export files options window allows the case information to be input and should be relevant to the evidence being investigated. Once this information is added to a case it cannot be changed at a later stage. The information fields uniquely identify the case to any third party reviewing it. The fields required in this area are case name, evidence number, unique description, the examiner's name and notes relating to the investigation. It is important to avoid any opinion based comments within these notes at this time. This may reflect an inaccurate interpretation of events with the introduction of new evidence at a later date. The encased logical format is set by default but the segment size can be changed as desired. The file entry hash uses an MD5 value for each file. Compression can also be added at this time, which ranges from none through to best. Selecting the folder icon next to the destination file window will activate Windows Explorer. Navigate to the required location where the logical image file is to be stored. Any new folders required can be created on the fly using normal Windows Explorer techniques. It is important to name the folders appropriately to identify the evidence as a selective sample of data from a specific device. Select the folder created to ensure the evidence will be saved within it. Add the evidence file name in the Save As window and select the Save option. The destination file path will now appear in the Export Files option window Select OK to create the L01 image file. It is always best practice to check that the selected data has been created successfully. This can be achieved by adding the L01 created back into Forensic Explorer. Save and close the active case within Forensic Explorer. Select Preview option in the Evidence module. Use the Add Image option and navigate to the L01 previously created. Highlight it. Select Open which will activate the Evidence Processor window. Use the default options and select Start. The L01 will now be added to Forensic Explorer. Navigate to the File System module once the process has completed and branch plate all items in the folder tree view. 
In the File List window, right click and select Columns, Edit Columns option. In the window that appears, navigate in the Available Columns area and select File Acquisition Hash MD5 option. Add this column to the current columns area and select OK. The column will now appear in the File List view. Use the Sort feature for the File Acquisition Hash MD5 column. The acquisition hash values calculated on the original files can now be reviewed. Using the extension Filter option, filter for PST files. Note their respective hash values. To ensure the files being examined have not changed since the acquisition, use the Hash Files button at the top of the file system module. Change the file size range from 100 megabytes to zero. This will create a hash value for any file above zero megabytes regardless of its size. Select OK and review the acquisition hash values. Conduct a secondary sort on the hash MD5 column and compare the values to the original acquisition hash values when the L01 image file was created.